Mr. Cleland here from Cleland Maths. Today we're going to be looking at speed. What is speed? When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious... <laughs> we're going to do is calculate speed. We've just went over what speed is. We've seen a little video on speed. What is the need for speed? How do we get speed? So speed is distance divided by time. It's just a fraction. So we can do speed equals distance divided by time. And we're going to use that formula to calculate speed, but we can also use that formula by rearranging it to calculate the distance that something travels and to calculate also the time it takes to get there, okay? And we can use our triangle to work that out. If I put D at the top for distance, draw a line, S times T. If I wanted to work out the speed, I cover it up and it says distance over time. If I wanted to work out the time, I would say distance over speed. And if I wanted to work out the distance, covering up the distance, I get speed times time. And we're going to use all three of these to work out the different uh, ways to calculate distance, speed and time. We're going to start with a simple example with speed. Okay, example one says, calculate the average speed of a car that travelled 135 miles in three hours. Now we don't want to have to remember what form is it, is it for speed, what form is it for distance, what form is it for time. Instead, we always start by drawing our triangle. Remember the distance D goes at the top over S times T. I'm trying to calculate the speed, so I cover speed up and it automatically tells me D over T. So I can write that formula down. S equals D over T. Our D is the distance, 135, so I have to do 135 over 3 because the time is 3 hours. Working out 135 divided by 3, you get 3 into 13 goes 4 times with 1 left over, 3 fives is 15, so you get 45 miles per hour. Miles per hour because it was in miles and hours, so it's miles per hour. <laughs> Okay, example two says, how far will a car travel if driven for three hours at 50 miles per hour? So step one, still the same, we draw a triangle. Remember, D goes at the top for standing for distance over S times T. So this time, how far, that's a distance. So I cover distance up and it automatically tells me to do S times T. So that's what I write down, D equals S times T. D equals S times T. And I substitute everything that I've got. So our speed is 50. So it's 50 times our time, which is 3. So it's 3. 50 times 3 is 150. And our units would be miles because it was miles per hour. And that's a simple example for distance. Okay, example 3. How long does it take to drive 240 kilometres at a speed of 60 kilometres per hour. So again, we start exactly the same way. Does it matter whether we're calculating distance, speed or time? We draw our triangle. Distance over speed times time. I look at the question, how long? So that's a time. So if I cover up the time with my hand, it says D over S. So I can immediately write down that T equals D over S. Our distance was 240, so that's 240 divided by my speed of 60. There's four 60s in 240, so the answer is four and our units are hours because it was 60 kilometers per hour, hours. That's a simple example to calculate the time. So you've now got everything you need to calculate the distance, speed and time. 
all three formulas are given in the triangle, so you should have now have enough to be able to do any examples where you have to calculate either the distance, the speed or the time, which is the majority of the questions.